I'm in Kyoto right now and it's summertime. Kyoto is amazing in the summer. People don't know it, but it's definitely a place to visit. Like everyone comes in cherry blossom season, autumn. There's so much to experience such as Kamogawa where I'm chilling right now. I want to just show a few couple things like casually what you can do, like eating dango by the river. I'm gonna go put my feet in and enjoy a nice, cool, relaxing summer afternoon in Kyoto. By the way, I'm here with my friend Alyssa. Hey. And we're just having a little girls trip in Kyoto. Yes. It's a nice place to come and chill with your friends and drink and hang out. I don't know if you can tell, but we're in this like stone turtle and a lot of people will like hop across like the river on these like stone ledges. We're gonna put our feet in the water, so let me show you. It was so relaxing by the river. We didn't end up leaving until late. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for more spots. Good morning, everyone. It is the second day. And right now we're at De Machiyanagi station because we're going to take the train to Kibane. This station is super cute. It's got very like Ghibli vibes. Let's get on. All right, it's time for the train ride. So from De Machiyanagi station to Kibane Gucci station, it only takes 30 minutes. My advice when taking this train is to stand right up the very front and look out the window to see the absolute best scenery. It's my favorite part for sure. There's also a Momiji leaf tunnel section that's super pretty. So we just made it to Kibine Gucci Station and we're ready to go explore. We've also been blessed with super nice weather. You can hear the cicadas, they're like screeching and the green is amazing. Like coming out of the city, even in Kyoto is like surrounded by nature. The nature here is just like on another level. Like look at those like maple tree trees maple maple leaf trees there's been a bear around like a week ago it. i can fight it i'm from texas <laughs> never seen a bear warning in japan before let alone like anywhere in the world i mean australia doesn't have bears so i'm a little like worried also i saw our bus so maybe we should hurry ah. from kibune gucci station to the main kibune area it's about a 10 minute bus ride up the mountain and once you get off the bus you need to walk up a little bit and then you'll start seeing the restaurants hotels and the main shrine entrance so we climbed up the entire like hill to get to hirobun which is where you do the nagashi soulman and I expected a bit of a wait, but they said three hours. So we put our names down, paid, and we're gonna come back around five o'clock, 4.35. Got some number, 11. You wouldn't think 11 means three hours, but anyway. <laughs> uh, we're pretty hungry, because we haven't eaten yet, so maybe we'll go dine on the river somewhere else. See you somewhere. We found this cafe along the river, and uh, we were like, let's go in there. It looks awesome, There's we can wait. Seats, like. We were so naive. <laughs> because it's also probably an hour wait. Mm -hmm. um, we are now sitting on the ground because we don't want to stand up waiting. We're the only ones sitting. <laughs> so basically the system is you have to wait in the line, get your drinks, and then once you get a number, you can go sit down. Look forward to cafe or matcha in like undefined amount of time. Well, for y'all, very soon. Yeah. For us, less soon. This cafe is one of the only budget-friendly spots, so it makes sense why it's so popular. And you can dine inside, but right now, why would you want to do that with the beautiful river dining experience available? We just got to our seats, and it's amazing here. Look at this, we're sitting over the river, we put our feet in. Mind you, the water is freezing, like freezing, like icy cold, but uh, still refreshing. And I've got a matcha latte. Mm. Really refreshing. and. I already started it. I couldn't help myself. I got a monaca with some red bean. Compliments the matcha with the sweetness. Super nice. Love being surrounded by the green and you can hear like the sounds of the river. It's really peaceful. And you can kind of like chill out on the tatami here. Uh, but they do say you're only allowed to stay for 30 minutes. So hopefully they don't kick us out too soon because I'm not ready to leave yet. I also really love the way they give you like a few of these green leaves yeah, the on the plates. Yeah, the presentation is so stunning and I feel like it suits the, you'd probably see them running through the water. We had assigned seating and the people in front of us left so we quickly dashed over here to get the front view and it's so much better. Like you have the whole view of like the restaurants down there which is actually where the Nagasaki Soulman place is. Look right down, there's the water. It's amazing! This is how you gotta spend your summer in Japan, come to Kyoto and experience like this style of Kawadoko summer. After relaxing at the river cafe, it's time to check out Kibune Shrine, which is dedicated to the god of water and rain. We have the red lanterns lined up on both sides, surrounded by the maple trees, which looks absolutely stunning. Compared to earlier in the day when we first arrived, there's a lot less people because it's about 4pm now 
and it's actually really peaceful. It's not as hot either, so I recommend actually coming maybe late afternoon towards the evening because there's still a lot of sunlight. And there's Alyssa up there. We're very hungry because we couldn't end up eating yet, so we're still waiting for the Nagashi Sawman. These really cute, um, is this, what are these called? The pinwheels. I love Kibane Shrine so much. I've been here like seven, eight, nine times. I can't even count. Oh, and it looks really awesome because it's Tanabata right now and they've got all these like um, messages written down. I've never seen it at this time of year. Tanabata was like July and it's early August now so maybe they leave them up for a little while. Shrine, they sell these postcards which are like really beautiful photos. I own this one. It's so stunning in the winter. And then this one is also really nice. This is now. This is the mamori that I bought. I have the green um, momiji chain. So I decided I'm gonna get the green one and add it to my bag. So I have the full collection. I have the red one, the omamori, and the green one now. So yay! Now that we've done a little bit of shopping, it's time to take our fortune. Woo! So we got our omikuji and you got to place in the water and then you wait for your result to appear. So yeah, it's quite usually a unique. it's like you just open it and it's already written. Mm. Actually a QR code you can scan so you can get an English version. <laughs> oh, very traditional Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go, alright. Oh, you got the best one? Awesome. I did? the best one last time I did this too so so yeah and then once it dries I believe it does disappear oh wow really yeah. maybe I'm gonna hang it up because it's not the best one I think last time I came here I got the same thing I have not had a daikichi for ages what's up with that onigaishimasu next time kamisama <laughs> we've come to Hirobun the Nagashi Solomon place and we're just waiting to be like to go to our table I'm very excited to eat any food. We're about to catch the fish in the river. <laughs> Nagashi Sawmen is a fun summer activity here in Japan where you catch the noodles flowing down the bamboo water slide. All right, let's see how good I am. With my expertise chopstick skills, I managed to snatch up most of the noodles. They do send about six to eight batches down within 10 minutes or so, so you've always got to be ready to pounce and grab your noodles, otherwise you'll miss them. The last one here is the pink sawmen. And I'm gonna enjoy it. Mmm. It does taste different. Mm -hmm. It has what flavor is that? <laughs> you know that flavor. Uh. Anyway, that was a fun experience, but it went by that super fast. Really fun. That was your first time. How was it? It was super fun. It was actually really tasty. I was so hungry. I thought I'd be like eating all of it, but it like built up if you're not fast enough yeah. to like eat it. For Jozu at chopsticks. So oh yeah. It's, like, you are Jozu. Yeah. No, really fun though. Yeah. This is my second time doing it and I'd totally come back and do it again. It's not that, yeah. it's not that expensive for like the experience. Not at all. And you have like the beautiful view oh, and yeah. like, the atmosphere. You can see the ones that didn't get caught are just like accumulated in here. That was my summer in Kyoto. What did you think? What would you try? My favorite was definitely chilling by the Kamagawa Delta and I can't wait to come back next summer to try again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.